When integrating by parts, we need to choose a u and a dv from our original integral. And typically we choose a u so that the derivative of that du is going to be simpler than u itself. In other words, if we decided to choose u equals e to the 3x, that would give us du is 3 e to the 3x. And that is not any simpler than what we started with. So in the majority of cases, that is going to be the wrong choice. Instead, it makes sense for us to choose u equals x. And differentiating gives us du equals dx. Looking back at the original integral, that leaves us with a dv equals e to the 3x dx. Note that to get v, we need to integrate e to the 3x, and that leaves us with a 1 third e to the 3x. If you're wondering where this 1 third comes from, it comes from a u substitution. You can look back at some of my previous u substitution videos if you want to take a deeper look at that. But for this problem, I'll just copy the original integral down, and then using the integration by parts formula with the u's and the v's and the du's that we just found, we end up getting something that looks like this. Now, if we've done this problem correctly, Correctly, the integral that remains should be easier to integrate than the original integral. In this case, that is true. To make that maybe a little bit more clear, I'll do one step of simplification. And you'll note that integrating e to the 3x is just going to give us another 1 third e to the 3x. Combining the 1 third and the 1 third just gives us 1 9. We tack a plus c on the end of that thing because this is an indefinite integral. That means it has no limits. And we can just box up that answer and call this problem complete. All right, let's try the next one.